Find the equation of the line parallel to the line g of x is equal to negative 0.01x plus 2.01 through the point 1 comma 2. All right, so first thing is, you know how I feel about this notation. Change the g of x to just y, okay? So y is equal to negative 0.01x plus 2.01. All right, great. So this just, I don't know, makes it look a little easier. So now um, what I realize is now th this equation represents the equation or the line that is given. We have to now create basically or find an equation, meaning create a new equation that is a parallel line to or that is parallel to this particular equation. You got to remember, anytime you hear parallel lines, with the next literal thought that has to pop into your head is that the slopes are equal. That's what parallel means. Okay. So when I create my new equation here, y is equal to, I'm going to start with my linear equation, y is equal to mx plus b. Why am I starting with this? Well, because, well, we're in the linear equation chapter, but um, I know that this is a linear equation as well. Why do I know that? Because it follows the form y is equal to mx plus b. Why is mx plus b? Um, why is mx plus, why is y equals mx plus b? So I had to think about that. Why is y equals mx plus b a linear equation? It turns out it's just the way the math works. If you plug in, let's say, x of 0 and you find the y, and then you plug in an x of 1 and find out what y is, 2 and find out what y is, 3 and find out what y is, 4 and find out what y is, you realize that there's a linear or proportional relationship, okay, uh, between the two, meaning that every time, you know, this is going up by some factor, this will be also going up by uh, some factor as well. They might not be the same necessarily, um, but it, it will be constant, okay? So, all right, backing up. All right, so now what I need to do is create this new equation, but the slope has to be the same because this equation I'm going to create, it has to be parallel to this. So I already know that y will equal then negative 0.01x plus b. That's, that's all it is. Now remember that in order to identify or to uh, define, I should say, a linear line, there has to be two things that are known. The two things that have to be known are the slope, or is the slope, and the y-intercept. So for my new equation here, I just was able to identify the slope portion of it, right? Now, the missing part is then going to be the y-intercept. I need to find the y-intercept. That's what's going to define my linear line, okay? Just like this, right? Just like this. What's known here? The slope and the y-intercept, okay? So the goal now becomes, how do I find this y-intercept? Think mathematically. If you have an equation and you need to find this, you better know everything else inside of that equation. Everything, meaning in terms of actual numbers, okay? So, in order to find B, we have to know what then Y is, we have to know what the slope is, and we have to know what X is. It turns out we know what the slope is, but actually, right now, we don't know necessarily what X and Y are. Or X and Y is, I don't know, it's math. So, um, not English. So, what I can do is reread the problem, and see if there's maybe another piece of information they gave us that tells us what X and Y can be. Hmm. It says that the line, the new equation must pass through the point, or the new line must pass through the point, 1, 2. Now remember, this point, always, anytime you see a point, you have to interpret it as knowing the X and knowing the Y. And remember, the equation of a line, okay, always works out for any single point along the line. This will always be a true equation, meaning the left-handed side of this equation will equal the right-handed side of this equation, assuming you plug in the right y coordinate with the right x coordinate. So, the point that, if the line must pass through the point 1, 2, what that tells me is that at some point in time, or at some point on the line, the y value must be 2, and the x value must be 1. And whoa, one equation with one unknown. We can easily solve this. So this becomes 2 is equal to negative 0 0.01 plus b. Add then this on over, 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01. Great. And we get b now will be equal to 2.01. Okay. And that's kind of strange because 
if I had to now take a step back, right, what would be now the equation of this particular line? Again, go back to here. We have to know what the slope is and we got to know what the y-intercept is. So y will then be equal to negative 0.01x plus now 2.01. And uh, yeah, that's it. So what do you notice about these two equations? They're actually identical, okay? So if they're identical, what that meant is that this equation must have also passed through this particular point. We didn't know that ahead of time. That's just the way the math worked. So I know it sounds a little strange, but that's what the math is telling me. So that must be the answer. And let me just make sure, because it sounds like an odd answer. So let me just go back and make sure my math is right. So I plugged in the one for X, good, two for Y. This worked out to be a negative. I had to add it on over to that side. And yeah, okay, that's what the math's telling me. All right, cool. So let's take a look at the next one. Watch how quickly we run through this. You know how I feel about this notation. Change that into Y is equal to negative 0.01X plus 2.01. All right, so now we have to find the equation that is, oh, perpendicular, right? Perpendicular to this equation and passes through this particular point. So what does it mean to be perpendicular? You have to remember, just like when you hear parallel, that you have to think, oh, the slope's equal. When you hear perpendicular, you have to think negative reciprocal slope or aka opposite reciprocal slope. Doesn't really matter how you, what the heck you call it, as long as you know what to do. So um, I realize now what's the slope of the given equation. The slope of the given equation is negative 0 0.01. That's right. So let me write this out here quickly. So the slope here is going to be negative 0 0.01. That's the slope. How did I know that? Because this equation follows y equals mx plus b. I'm just matching it up. So, that, so now that I know the slope is equal to negative uh, 0 0.01, remember that any value, you can always put this over 1. It's the same darn thing. The reason why I'm going to do that in this particular case is because I know that to create a new equation, in which case the new equation's line is perpendicular, I have to find the negative reciprocal of this slope. Okay? So what that means now is all you got to do to find the new slope, I'll put that in blue, is simply flip the fraction here. Okay, so it'd be 1 over 0 0.01. If this is negative, make it now positive. If this were positive, then you would have made this indeed negative. That's it. That's all you got to do. So this is the new slope. Okay, now, I know that looks a little dissatisfying, right? 1 over 0 0.01. Oh my goodness, what that? Is? what is that? So literally just take out your calculator. Type 1 divided by 0 0.01, and oh, doesn't that look so much nicer? Right, doesn't this look so much better? that the slope is 100, and that's it, all right? So my new equation here, remember, must follow y is equal to mx plus b. In order for me to define the equation, I have to define two things, the slope and the y-intercept. I just defined the slope. It has to be the negative reciprocal of this because it's telling me that the new line has to be perpendicular. So what that now means is that, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit, is that now my new equation is y is equal to 100x plus b. Remember, the missing piece now is going to be the y-intercept. How do I find that? Well, in order to find it, you need to know a point in which this new line passes through. And thank goodness they gave that to us. Remember, the coordinates are always x comma y. So simply the 1 is the x, the 2 is the y. So plug them on in. So 2 will equal 100 times 1 plus then b. 2 equals 100 plus b. Subtract the 100 to the left-hand side, and lo and behold, we're going to get negative 98 equals b. And now we have defined our line. Our new line is y is equal to 100x minus, excuse me, 98. And that's it. If you were to now plot these two lines, the original equation here, and this one in your calculator, you got to set the windows and whatnot, you realize that they will be perpendicular. Similarly, if you plotted these two in your calculator, you would have seen only one line, but that's because both lines are basically superimposed on top of one another, so you're only going to see one, okay, because they're identical. But, um, yeah, 
That's it. All right. So guys, remember, we got a ton of videos out there for you. I'm sure we'd be able to help you with some other concepts. So please check out our playlist on our channel. Um, and uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind helping us out, if we helped you out at all, it'd be awesome if you could subscribe, to hit the like button, maybe even tell some of your friends in your class. All right. If we were to help you, we might be able to help them too. We appreciate it very, very much. And I do hope you have a fantastic and wonderful day. Bye.